All good. Nice. So we left off with Jack picking up a book, and he could see that there was a blue bookmark inside of the book. Hi. Uh, now we have a little refresher. What is demo doing in here when we have um, Annie Teba? Ikura yondemo. Annie wa orite konai. What is the demo doing right here? So, Annie Teba ikura yondemo. So, it's even if, assuming the previous thing happened. Mm hmm. Yeah. So even if you called, and with ikora, it adds like, like no matter how many times, basically. So no matter how many times Jack said, Annie, te ba, Annie will not come down. So demo is kind of like, a, like you said, even if. So if we have a um, demo with an E afterwards, like yon demo E, this means even if you call, that will be okay. So it's kind of used to give permission for things. So even if you did this action, that's okay. Perhaps you should do that. Don't demo yo would be like, oh, it's totally fine to call me. That's kind of how it works. So even if you do this action, it is daijoubu. And it is it's fine. Like you want them to do. It's just a polite way of saying, please do this. Uh, now I have some vocab. Uh, these are like, they don't have like pictures for them. Do you know what kana means? It goes at the end of sentences. Kana. Kana, it's like kinda. Yep, exactly. Um, how about wakaru? Wakaru means I understand. Or like, I got yep. it. How about katte ni? Katte ni. Is that the end of a word? Because that's kind of new uh, to katte me. Katte ni shows up in the middle of words. <laughs> it's a, the, it's, um, it means like to do something in a way that you didn't think about other people. Um, a lot of times it might be, they might say it's like selfishly or something like that. It just means you did an action because you wanted to do the action and you didn't care about what anybody else thought about that action. Hmm. Then, um, so we don't really have a good translation for that in English, but is what it is. Um, so now I have a grammar, which is no neat, which can show between two clauses, or in this case, our sentences. Uh, can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me? Uh, yes. So, yakusoku means um, a promise. So, yakusoku shita no ni means even though they promised me, they never came. Kimasen deshita. So no ni is used when you have two things that happened and it's it's weird that they kind of happened because, you know, he said I was going to come, but he didn't come. So um, a lot of times it's translated as even though. So ignoring the second half of like the full sentence, just doing like the first half. So mm -hmm. how can you say even though I tried? And tried is kind of like gambaru. Gambaru. Okay, so yaks. Okay, well, yaksuku is not really here because that's promise. Mm -hmm. Even though I tried. Gambateru nani? Basically, yep. Uh, this is like um, kind of past tense. So gambatte ita no ni would make like more sense because you already tried. You're not in the mm. process of trying. Um, so in some sentences, it could definitely be you're in the process of trying, but people are like being like, you never try at all. And you're like, ah, well, yep, that's exactly <laughs> how it works. Um, now here's another grammar, which is kicking into a lot of stuff. So if you have a question word, so like itu, for example, which is when, mm -hmm. and then you have the clause that ends with a ka, this is a called an embedded question. So for example, what does wakara nai mean? I don't understand. Yeah, so the thing they don't understand is um, itsu bakemono ga kuru, which means when the monster will come, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, so in English, this would be, I have no idea when the monster will come. So itsu bakemono ga kuru ka is when the monster will come. If there's a question in here, we don't know. When will, when will the monster come? I do not know is like a direct translation. When will the monster mm. come? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
So you see, you make the question, when will the monster come? Ka, and then you have the verb afterwards. So how would you say, I don't know whose books these are? Okay. I don't books know are? whose books these are. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know would be at the end. So... Hmm. I'm trying to add a cut in there, but I didn't cut directly mix little sense. Yep. Yeah. 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 Let's read it. Ah, Dakedo, Yon Demo, or Yon Demo E, Noka, or Noka. Yes, this is one. Kana, yep, this is that Kana. Ka is over here in the next phrase. That's why you had that in your head. So, Dakedo is, um. do you know what that means, Dakedo? I heard a lot, but I actually forgot the meaning. It's basically like, but like demo. So demo, katene yon demo i no kana is like basically the same as dakedo, katene yon demo i no kana. It's basically the same. Hmm. It's just a but or however kind of word. So katene, what does katemi mean? Katene. Oh, we just went through that. Um. Even something. It's 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 kind of like selfishly if we if we had to translate it, it just means you mm. did an action without speaking about other people. Um, so for example, these books, he doesn't know who owns these books. So he selfishly might yomu these books, but he never asked for permission. Um, you kind of you kind of should be like, oh, can I read these? Can I borrow your books? Like, you can't just take someone's book and read it. That'd be rude. Yeah. So that's why kateni is showing up. Means like I my by myself, I'm just going to yomu these books without asking permission, basically. I'm, mm. So, uh, but then we have yondemo i, yondemo i. So here's that demo you were thinking about. What does mm. yondemo i mean? Yontemo i. So even if you selfishly something, it's okay. <laughs> yes. So yomu mm -hmm. means to read. So even if you decide to just read this all on your own, it's okay. And then he has no kana, which is like, is kind of with like, I guess. So in this case, I would translate as like, I wonder, however, I wonder if it's okay for me just to just read these books. So in this case, mm. might be were, were translated as just, to just read these books. Um, I feel like that kind of has that embedded in English, or to just to just read these books. Just read it. Yeah. <laughs> English is such a weird language. Um, I mean, he really wants you can tell he really wants to read these books because Jack's like, ooh, katani. He's like, should I just read these books anyway? Because he's looking for these tissues. Um, and then what's the next part? Uh, oh, which is what we kind of just made. Mm -hmm. So whose books are these? I don't know. Yep. No on top of like... the no ni. So no this, so no need is like even it. It's like it's like even though. So in this case, this is almost like spinning up the sentence about. We do this a lot in English too. So this would be dare no hon ka wakaranai no ni katte ni yonde mo i no kana would be like the full sentence, but they decide to split it up into in this way. We do the same thing in English. So this is um. Even though I don't know whose book is this is, is it okay for me just to read them? Mm. Yeah. That, that's what it's saying. Mm. Okay. Um, so this is a checker. Uh, could you make the phrase a book that looks interesting? 
book that looks interesting. Hmm. So this would be a book you did not read, but you looked at it and you're like, ooh, interesting. So you, you assume the book is interesting, but you don't actually know. A book that looks interesting. So I can't just say, honno mushiroi, but. You can't just say that. Yeah. But, but a moshiroi is interesting and hon is book. So, first of all, how would you attach an adjective to a noun? I would add na. That's if it's a na adjective. So, in this case, a moshiroi is an e adjective. Uh, I mm. just say the adjective goes before the noun. So, a moshiroi oh. hon would be an interesting book. And this would be meaning that we know it's interesting. However, there is a way to change this so that we're saying it looks interesting, which is by adding so and deleting the E right there. Mm. Now, so doesn't end with E. So what is the glue between so and hon? It would be omoshiro so na hon? Yes, there you go, yep. Omoshiro so na hon would be a book that looks interesting. Uh, mm. Exactly, so so is used when you want to add, I don't actually know this information, but it's probably true. Uh, here's some double checking. Do you know what oshiro no hon means? Oshiro no hon. Oshiro sounds very familiar. Mm -hmm. Oshiro. Did we do it? I think we did. We oshiro. did do it. Cover, right? Book, uh, that'd actually be a different word. I think that's hyoshi or something like that. But it was describing a cover of a book. Specifically, a it's castle. the book that Annie, yes. Oshiro is castle. So Oshiro no Hon would be a book of castles or the castle book. Um, next is um, Hono Hiraku or Hono Hirogeru. These both have basically the same meaning. What do you think that means? It means to turn, I guess. So that would actually be Mekuru, which would be the turn the pages of a book. Um, hiraku means to open and hirugeru means to like spread out. So these both can be used to reference opening up a book so that the book is spread open like this. Hono hiraku and hono hirogeru. Um, but yeah, mekuru is the flipping of pages. So with mekuru, how would I get te form from that? Mekuru. Uh, mekutte, I guess. Yeah, yep, mekutte. Nice. Boop. And here is our sentence from the book. Let's read it. Uh, shikashi, ani wa mo oshiro no hon o hirukete, hirogete. Tanoshi so ni penzu, penzu. Peji, peji. Peji o mikutte iru. Uh, this would be me. Rather than so, me. Meku. Yeah, mekutte iru. Mekutte iru. Hi. So we have Annie, and she is doing hirogete with a hon. What does that mean? Annie wa mo oshiro no hon o hirogete. So, but. Annie was Oshiro no castle. Oh, so a castle book or a book about castles. She was spreading out or opening up a book yeah, about castles. Exactly. And in a Tanoshi Soul, what does that mean? Tanoshi Soul. Of uh, seemingly fun. Yes. So she looks like she was having fun. He doesn't know because he can't read Annie's mind, but she probably has like a smile on her face. So Annie, she's also page yo nukutte iru. Page o nukutte iru. So she was turning the page. Exactly. So Annie already picked up a book and was having fun turning the pages, or it looked like she was having fun turning the pages of the book. Why does skashi, skashi show up here? Uh, it means however, but yep. I don't know what they would use that. So the last sentence, 
Jack was like, ooh, is it okay for us to read these books, even though we can't ask permission to read these books? But um, Annie's already reading the book. Too bad, Jack. <laughs> um, so Tefform, so I'm going to use this for Tefform. Uh, Tefform, if it's like at the end of a clause and then there's like another clause, so that's like the two sentences thing, it can be used to make and, which you already kind of know. I just never pointed it out. It's right over here. I probably meant to have this on the page before because if you don't that so she open she has the book open and she's having fun flipping the pages so it's mm -hmm. a very weak and like you know like a lot of our ands that we've been learning is very like aggressive it'll be like you do this and then this happens but this is just two events um they don't have to be super duper related but in general the first one happens and then the second one happens but they do not need to be like related. As long as Annie's doing both actions, it's okay. Mm. Does that make sense? Um, for example, Mori ni itte kaiju ga sagashimashita is I went to the forest and I looked for monsters. But I didn't have to look for monsters. It, it just I went to the forest and I was like, eh, I got nothing else better to do. I'll go, I'll go look for monsters. You know? It, but you had to. But I went to the forest first, you know. If it said kaiju o sagashite mori e ita, that'd be I was looking for monsters and then I went to the forest. So it might insinuate that I looked in the monsters first in my house and I was like, eh, I don't see any here. I'm gonna look in the forest next, you know. So the orders means that she did not look for monsters until after she entered the forest. Mm. But they don't have to be, like, as I said, related, related. They're just, One it's like a sequence yep. of events, basically. So how would you say, I put my bag down and I opened a book. We have ryukku, which is bag, oku, to put down, hon, and hiraku. And hiraku is to open up. Mm hmm So... Okay, so. Uh, oh, wait. First off, let's make oku into te form. Let's do that first. Is it ote? I mean, that sounds odd. It would be oite. It would be oite. For example, kiku, which is to um to listen or to ask, becomes kite. Kite. So ku turns to to ite. So oku mm. turns to oite. Oite. Hi. So watashi no ryuki. Watashi no ryuki. Ruku. Oite. Comes from rucksack, I think. Like a rucksack. It's probably where it mm. comes from. Yeah, they use ruku in Japanese. Ruku. And then it would be like a comma. Mm -hmm. uh, opened a book. So, hon o hiraku. Perfect. So, there's nothing wrong with watashi no ryukku, but you could also do watashi wa, as in I did the action while I was saying, I put down my backpack. It's I put down a backpack, or just ryukko oite, um, hono hiraku would be to put down a bag, because you know, you don't really need to specify I in um, Japanese. <clears throat> but yeah, perfect. And here is our sentence. Uh, Jack mo senaka no ryukku o yuka ni oite. So this right here is the zoo. It's just the it's hard. The zukan and choryu. So choryu zukan, but it's just choryu zukan. Choryu zukan o hiru hiraite mita. Nice. So first off, do you know what a yuka is? Is it like I forgot what it was. Some monster, from what mm. I remember. 
That would be like, Yoku Ryu, which actually does kind of sound like Yuka. Uh, Yoku Ryu is what you were thinking of, which is the um, the flying dinosaur. But Yuka has something to do with that. So a tenjo, if you know that word, a tenjo is the opposite of a Yuka. So depending on where you're standing, it could be the same thing. So um, if you have... If you're in like the living room, the t your tenjo is the yuka of the attic. So yuka means floor, floor, and tenjo means a uh, ceiling. Mm. So we have yuka ni. What is ni? What is this particle ni normally used for? Uh, for direction. Yes. So the direction of the floor, Jack. Oited his ryuku. So what does that mean? So, so. Jack's book, sorry, bag. Mm -hmm. On yuka ni oite. So the Jack's bag was on the floor. Yes. Specifically, it means he put it on the floor. Oite means um, put. Mm hmm. I just kind of had like I just made you I made the sentence I made you make was Rack putted his um I didn't say where he put it I I just said he putted he putted his bag um but yeah this right here is telling you specifically he put it on the floor um do you know what senaka means it means my back or spine something yep. like that so senaka no ryuku is a backpack right so ryuku mm -hmm. wear on your back. Uh, so Jack, he also puts down his bag and he hirai, hirakus the zukan about Kyoryu. So what happened? Second mm or -hmm. hiraite mita. And a Kyoryu. So he put his bag on the floor. And mm -hmm. then, Kyoryu Sukan o Hiraite Mita. And then he spread out mm -hmm. the book about something. Yep. So, Kyoryu is composed of Kyo from Kyofu, which means scary, and Ryu from dragon. So, what, are you, what is the scariest dragon? A scariest dragon? Yeah. A pterodactyl? <laughs> Any kind of dinosaur. It's the scariest dragon because they actually. Ah. <laughs> um, and it just says Mita here saying like it, you could just say Hiraite Ita. That would have been fine. Um, it just means like you attempt to do something and he, and in the past tense means he already did it. So he tried and he succeeded. It just, it doesn't work well in English to translate the mitad part of this. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, he opens up that book, and what does he find? Uh, shiori, shiori no. What's a shiori? <laughs> just read it shiori all. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, hasande miru peji ni yoku ryu. Potera no don potera no ega no taita. So, a putera no don, I think it's the Japanese pterodactyl. Um, I think they're they're of the same family, but uh, I think this is the one that's found like in Japan, specifically, like this specific dinosaur would be my <laughs> guess. Puteradon. But yeah, it's a kind of Rokoryu, which is of the pterodactyl family. But they're just being very specific which one, which is the one that has um, this crest on the back of its head. I don't know anything about dinosaurs. So <laughs> um, we're at a page where something was hasandearu. Do you remember what hasandearu means? Hasandearu. From hasan, hasamu. Hasamu. It, 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 it. Oh, yeah. 
日和に。あ、ハサン。Could be ga, could be either. <laughs> it's confusing because there's like two ハサム。Uh, I think in this case it's ga, because it's ha san de aru. Ka turns into no.、Um, oh, what matters is that shiori is the direct object here.、Uh, what is something that is. So, ha san de aru means to be like in between two things. So, something、mm. to be in between pages of books. What? What goes in between two pages of books? A bookmark. Yep. So, shiori means bookmark. So, at, so at, so we have at again, ni. So, at the location, at the page where there is a bookmark on it, we can see that there is an e. What is an e? A painting. Yes. A painting of what? Uh, you could you, oh, a dinosaur, or specifically that one. Yes,、yeah, specifically that、Pterodon. dinosaur.、Um, do you know what no teita means? No teita.、Uh, I do I, not.、Mm. Um, so in English, we wouldn't really use this word. So it's like one of those like, Japanese things. So, e, you said painting, but specifically it just means a picture. And no teita means to be. Depicted. So it's a big word in English. Depicted. So there is, so there inside the book, there is a picture depicting a、um, yokoryu, a pterodactyl. So in English, we just would say a picture of a pterodactyl. We're done. We don't need to use the word depicting. We don't need、yeah. that for that word. But in Japanese, they're like, we need to say it's depicting. What is the picture doing?、Um, Yeah. Mm. So, this right here is something that、I've, you've probably seen before, but I never like, pointed it out.、Um, but verbs, if there is a to occurring right before it, and it's not like、um, omo or kangaeru, if it's not like a quotation thing, wakaru, so these are all like quotations. Like, I understand blank, or I, un- I thought of blank, and I thought of blank. Th- those are different. When you're just doing a normal verb like tobu or taberu, like any kind of normal verb, like anything, if you put a to in front of it, a lot of times what will be occurring right here is a description of the way in which they are doing the verb. And,、mm. and it will almost always be in either hiragana or katakana. You won't see kanji over here normally.、Um, or if you do, it's because the author is being obnoxious. Like, it's like specifically, it's an, an author is want to be in the being like, I'm going to be obnoxious. Like, <laughs> it's literally like a thing <laughs> to like put obnoxious kanji there. So, you might see it, I don't know, like in a, a light novel or something.、Um, uh, but in, in general, it's going to be hiragana or katakana. It'll be normally katakana for like adult books and hiragana for children books. But、um, so these are normally kind of onomatopoeia like words. It doesn't have to be a total onomatopoeia. Like you, you, for example, isn't actually an onomatopoeia, but it sounds like one, right? You, you. But this would be the kanji.、Uh, oh, wow. you, you wouldn't normally see this kanji, but it, it's from a word that has like you in it. You, you. But normally you see the hiragana, and it even sounds like an onomatopoeia. They, they tend to look like that.、Um, And, and also, onomatopoeia can also be here. So basically, we have a to and then hiragana before it. And this tends to be describing the way in which you do the verb. What does tobu mean? Tobu.、Uh, to fly or soar. Yes. So, yu yu to tobu means to fly in a leisurely kind of way. So it's not like flapping your wings super fast and pew pew pew. It's basically、mm. kind of like, woo. Kind of like with your wings just out and you're just gliding, basically. Or,、um, do you know what tsubuyaku means? Tsubuyaku. Tsubuyaku.、Uh, no. It means to mutter. So, if you <laughs> uttorito tsubuyaku, this would mean to mutter in an absent mindedly kind of way, or like you're spellbound, you're just like, wow, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, the to is used just to describe the way in which you do the verb.
And this is super common in Japanese. And there's a lot of things that they cannot describe in Japanese without using onomatopoeia. That's why a lot of novels will just be have a lot of onomatopoeia because it's written into their writing system to describe their verbs using them. Like um, in Harry Potter, they use gyuto for uh, which gyu is a sound effect for like <laughs> when they were hugging somebody. <laughs> it's it's like a getting close sound effect yeah. of like yeah. hugging you though they use that to describe someone hugging someone but like the actual harry potter doesn't have sound effects in it like the english version but japanese does because they want to illustrate what they're meaning um so what is this animal right here it is a bat yes and a bat in japanese is komori with a lot komori and komoris have tsubasa which is also called hane. So tsubasa and hane are basically the same word. Um, their difference is extremely like little and a lot of times it can be interchangeable. So um, like sometimes the difference is that, oh, you can't use this one with insects. <laughs> like it's that kind of like difference, but you can use them both with birds or in this case, um, uh, it's being used to describe the, what's a tsubasa? It is wings. Yes. In this case, it's describing the wings of a bat versus the um, dinosaur rings. Um, as far as I know, in, in this case, either could be used for dinosaur or and for bat. Um, but in case you're worried, you can do the first one for bat and the second one for dinosaur, if, if you're worried about that. Um, so anyway, similes in Japanese. So when you say, oh, the sun was like a woman, you know, like that kind of phrase. Uh, mm. so like, when you're making similes in Japanese is yo, that's what that is. Um, when you're using this with a noun, like right here, o ayakashi, we use na, to connect these two. So, oyakashi, do you know what that means? I don't, that's new to me. You'd only know that if you watch lots of anime. So, an ayakashi is like a monster, but specifically a Japanese monster, like the spirit monsters. And o means big. So, a big spirit, a big spirit monster. Spirit. You know what okami means? Hmm. Okami. okami. So, Big God, a no big paper. Uh, no, big God, right? That's a good guess, but if you look at the kanji, we don't have O and we don't have Kami, as in God, which would be this guy. That's what, but see, O, O Kami, as in Big God, does exist. See right there? I did O Kami, and I just clicked space and it popped up eventually. That shows that it's a real word. So O Kami would look like that as in large god with big and then god. Um, but o kami, with this kanji right here, um, my hint is that neko looks like that, which most of them have the tail at the end. Um, o kami means wolf. Wolf. Hmm. So, o kami no yona o ayakashi means a large spirit that looks like a wolf. But it isn't actually a wolf. Um, it's it's very like like for example, Natsume Jingcho, which is an anime. Um, this yokai is described as an okami no yona o ayakashi inside of um the book because he looks apparently like a wolf a little bit. But My first it? guess would be maybe fox if I looked at that, but that's okami no yona o ayakashi. Um, so, yo means like, the thing you're describing, so this is what it is. The item is a wolf. What it looks like, sorry, the item is a spirit. That's what it is. It is not a wolf. It is a spirit. What it looks like, though, is a wolf. So, how would you say wings like the wings of a bat? Wings like the wings of a bat. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
ハレロジュナ。ハレロジュナ。どうですかパパッ So I would say that like or Hana wa. No, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. So this is super close. Um, Hane no yona tsubasa, which would be wings like wings. You have to、wings、figure、like、out、wings. how to put bat in there. I would say komori no ubasa. Yes,、yeah. komori no. Tsubasa no yo na hana. Um, hane. I always want to do hana, hane. So, yes, that is how you would do it. Um, as far as I know, it's perfectly fine to have hane over there and tsubasa over there. Um, but if you're afraid, then hane is apparently used for bats and tsubasa for. The、um, dinosaur, but as far as I know, they're interchangeable in this context.、Mm. Um, but I didn't specifically Google is it interchangeable for dinosaurs? I didn't ask、uh, a specific question.、Um, all I got is that it was interchangeable for like、um, animals, like birds. <laughs> And I didn't really think, like, oh, I should double check if dinosaurs is the same. But anyway, here is our sentence from the book. Ah, Komuri no Hana no. Yeah, Hana no. It's Hana. I wrote Hana.、Ah. I wrote Hana. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> it's Hana. I keep on doing that with it. I keep on writing the right Hana, but it's Hana.、Hmm. No Hana no Yuna Tsubasa o Ukiku. Ah, Hiro Kete, Hiro Kete. Ah, Sora o. You, 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 to, ah, to, de, 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 Yona, which is kind of like a tsubasa, which is a bat. Sorry, a wing. The <laughs>、yeah. bat's wing kind of looks like a wing. So, specifically,、like、this a wing. is a wing that looks like a bat's wing. So, this tells us this is not a bat's wing. This, this wing that we're seeing looks like a bat wing. So, it looks kind of like this, not like this. However, it is not a bat. Whoever wing we're looking at is not a bat. That's what komori no yona tsubasa. Wings like a bat.、Uh, in English, you would just say wings like a bat, but they want to say wings like the wings from a bat, which is a little like much in English. And that's actually why I assume that they're using hane and then tsubasa. Because if you were komori no hane no yona hane, it might be like silly、yeah. hane twice. So they decided to just do two different wings. So, anyway, we have wings and they, are, they look just like bat wings. However, they are not bat wings. That's the information we have. And these wings, whoever has them, the, whatever creature has them, which is not a bat, the et o kiku hirogete. You know what hiro, hirogete means? Hirogete. So, to turn? So, that would be、um, mekute. Mekute, which is from Mekuru, would be to turn. Mekuru. However, you did see Hirogeru with, we were talking about Hon. Hon o Hirogeru, which is Hirogete. Specifically, it was Oshiro, Oshiro no Hon o Hirogete. Then it was Heiji o Mekute iru. That was the sentence. So、to spread out, spread out、yep. castle. That is what it means. So,、mm. spread out the wings in an old kikuk kind of way. So, they, very, they spread out very widely. So, iku, so、um, I had this on a different slide. I didn't put it in the right place. But,、um, i, 
E, so when an adjective ends with E, it is an adjective and it's describing, you know, a noun. If an adjective that you thought was an adjective ends with a ku, then it's actually an adverb and it's now describing a verb. So that's pretty different than in English because in English we have separate words for our adjective, our adverbs and our adjectives. Uh, but in Japanese, all adjectives can turn into adverbs by changing the e. All e adjectives can turn into adverbs by changing the e into a ku. Uh, they also have adverbs on top of that that are just adverbs. Um, but all e adjectives can turn into adverbs by adding ku. So oki turns into oki ku. Because we're describing the way in which wideness happened. It was very large. Um, this creature was also doing tobu. Where were they tobuing? In the sora, so the sky. Yep. yep. How were they tobuing? Yo yu or yu yu, which is was yu yu a sound effect? Yes. Yu yu. So yu yu subtle, I guess. Yes. Just chill, I guess. Very chill. Yu yu is very chill. Exactly. It's leisurely. So it was leisurely flying. Had his wings spread out wide. So basically, this is kind of give. So is this giving you an idea that it's probably gliding right now? You know, it's it's not flapping its wings, but its wings are very wide, like a bat, and it's kind of just gliding. Um, oof, a lot of vocab. Do you know mm. what a UB is? UB. Mm. I mean, the picture says hand, so I guess mm. it's hand. So a hand is actually te. Te? Yeah. Te is hand. However, UBs are on hands. Fingers. And, yep. UB means finger. Um, and there's another word that you know, which is yubi sasu. Mm. Yubi sasu. And this means to point, which has yubi and sasu, like to stab, probably. Um, so yubi on its own just means finger. Do you know what au means? Au. Au. It's to it's like when you first meet someone. Au. Yes. Um it it just means to meet with maybe it's first time. Like dao dao would be like the first time you ever met someone like ever, like the like hajimete is dao. Hajimete. Um but au can be um normal meeting with people. It just means like you made um, a plan normally to meet with them. So it wasn't like a surprise. You weren't like, oh, normally it's like, oh, are you meeting with your friends? Or you made a yote, like a plan. So mm. to me, it's ao. What particle do you think ao gets? Like, is it ga, o, or ni? Uh, it's, hmm. Oh, I don't think it's a knee. It's it probably a gut. It, me. it oh, actually it is me. That's why I asked this because it's it's something that if you didn't know, the idea is that you're meeting towards somebody. So rather than meeting with somebody, which would be like with a toll, uh, you can also use toll um, in certain contexts. But knee means like to go and meet somebody, basically to go and meet whoever that is. So it has like a destination idea, if that makes any sense. Like, oh, I'm going to go meet my friends. I'm going to go over, meet them, you know? Mm. So let's just meet me. that's a destination. Oh. Um, so uttori. Do you remember what uttori means? I kind of told you a bit ago when I showed you the example sentence of uttori to tsubu. Tsubuyaku. Um, well, it's not wings. Tsubuyaku. Tsubuyaku mm. means to mutter. Uttori. So uttori sure. kind of means that um you're kind of zoning out in like a spellbound kind of way. So it it's it's like in English those two words are very different. But basically, you're kind of like observe, absorbed into something, but you're not like thinking. Mm, so, like dazing off. 
you're dazing off, but you're like, you're looking at the thing. Um, it's like hyper fixation, if you've ever heard that phrase. Mm -hmm. So um, in this case, you're muttering and you're focusing on something, but you're not thinking exactly. Like there's no like thought processes going in your brain. You're just doing it. Uh, it's kind of like meditation, but if you're reading a book or you could also do it if you were actually like practicing karate. Like it's like mm -hmm. a meditation state uh next is nazoru do you know nazoru. what that means? Nazoru. nazoru is it to trace it is to trace it can also mean to follow so it could be like to trace your finger or to follow a line for example uh it, ha it has both meanings so over here it's tracing or following the directions <laughs> the line of the thingy. So it has like both meanings inside of each other, like tracing, following in that kind of following in a tracing kind of way. Um right. what would be the must form of Nazoru. Uh, nazorimasu. Yep, nazorimasu. Oh that's right. Yep. You're correct. It's Nazorimas. So what would be the stem form? It would be Nazori. Yep. Perfect. And okay, um, so when you have te form and it ends with mitai, this is used when um, you wish to try something. So like, oh, I wish I could do this, basically. Um, but it, it tends to be, uh, well, it, it's anything like you wish to do. Uh, it's extremely important for te form to go before mitai to have uh, this. I guess it's important with the red title. Uh, super important. This is because Vitai will have different meanings depending on what's in front of it. Uh, for example, if you had a noun here like Nihon Mitai would mean like Japan, which has mm -hmm. no wishing in it. It just means it looks like Japan. Um, specifically, it's Mitai with Te form in front of it means to wish. So if you had um, Iku Mitai as like a random example, that would mean like going, like it looks like they were going or will be going. It's weird. You're like, what? What are you saying? So mitai only has the the meaning of wishing if te form is before it, but it's mm. not like it's it's just how mitai gets that extra meaning because mitai has lots of meanings basically. Yeah. Um. So can you read the sentence? Uh. Itsuka, itsuka, nihon ni itte, itte mitai. Nice. Do you know what itsu means? Itsu means one. Yes. So what happens when you add ka to that? Itsuka. So something, I think. Yes. Um, specifically, some when, which becomes some time. Mm. Uh, so when becomes time. <laughs> itsuka. So some, on this case, I would say someday would uh, translate the best. So someday, Nihon ni itte mitai. What does this mean in English? So someday, someday I would want to book, or it's a book, uh, reach a book. Uh, that doesn't make sense. The thing about yomu I... means to read. Um, hon does mean book, but nihon, does not oh, Nihon. Mean. Oh, the thing before, right? right. Nihon so means I would Japan. like to go. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nihon ni ite mitai. One day I'd like to go to Japan. So, how would you say, I wish I could meet a dinosaur? We have George mm. and Ao. I wish I could meet a dinosaur. Yeah. So, Kyoryu. Kyoryu. Kyoryu wa, wait, I guess, but then that's, that's mm. kind of weird. So that's wa weird. would be watashi. Watashi wa. Watashi wa, mm. I. Hai. Watashi wa kyoryu ni ao ni aote mitai, or aote, aote. 
for a second. How could、oh, be at the I'll be at the me time. Yeah, what does you are? So, so you need at the me time. I want to meet a dinosaur. Nice. Good job for remembering the me. I mean, me. Hi. So, here is our sentence. Jack, what? Potara no don, Potara no don, no, t o b u Tobu, Yata, or just Yata. Tubu Yata, that's a big Tubu Yata. So, so first off, Jack is doing Nazori. What is Nazori? Nazori. Nazori. From Nazori. Nazori. Oh, oh, just, it's,、hmm, I can't remember this word.、Mm. Nazori. It is to trace? Question. Yeah. yeah. So he's tracing with his Yubi. What is a Yubi? Uh, wings, I think. Nope. What could you be? Does Jack have wings? Nope. So, how could you trace with wings?、Mm, fingers. Yes. Yubi is fingers. Now we have O telling us what he is tracing, which is the tubasa of a、uh, putera no don. So, what is he tracing? So, the wings of a、uh, pterodon. Yes. So, what does Nagara mean? Nagara, well. Yep. So, while tracing the wings of, a, the, of the picture of the dinosaur、uh, with his fingers, he、um, tsubuyakus. Do you know what tsubuyaku? Tsubuyaku. So, tsubuyakus. Tsubuyaku.、Mm. Uh, very familiar. It was in the second example. It means to mutter.、Mm. Hi. Yep. So, an utori is the way in which he's tsubuyakuing. Utori. So, like the opposite of calmly. Yeah.、Uh, it, it's very like doni audi, if that makes any sense.、Uh, it's, it's like、Absent、he's minded, I guess. Absent mindedly, yeah. But he's very much just like focused, he, he's focusing on like the picture and he's not like thinking. So, anyway, the thing he t u b u y a k u s is this the ah, ban mono, putera don, ni, putera don, ni, ate mi taina. Yep. So we have hon mono. What does hon mono mean? Hon mono. So, some book. That's a really great guess. And you would think it would mean that. But、um, the kanji for hon、uh, doesn't always mean hon. Like, for example, a nihon、mm. doesn't actually mean sun book. book. It actually means、yeah. um, the sun origin. So, hon can also have the meaning of origin. So, hon mono actually is getting the origin meaning. So, something origin. Is what, where it's coming from rather than book、uh, mono. So, hon mono actually means the actual real life、uh, putera don, not a fake one, not just one you see in a picture or one you see in the or a dead one. He wants to see the genuine article, the hon mono.、Mm. So, we have ni atte mitai. What does that mean? Ni atte mitai. So, he would like to see a putera don. Yep. Specifically, he wants to meet them, but seeing works better in English. I want to meet like Sotohen. And this na right here is kind of like a vocal sigh. Hate mi tai na. It, it kind of has、yeah. like a wow. I wish. It, it, it's, a, it's very much like a vocal sigh.、Boop. Mm. And this will be our last sentence. We'll be stopping on a cliff here. <laughs>、mm. so、let's read it. Ah, cats like cats get it. Ah, kia tozen ani ga hini o hini hini o ageta. 
So this right here is Totsuzen. And this isn't me. What's that character right here? Ne or Met. Yeah. So Hime. Hime. So what is a Hime? Ah, uh, Hime. Like Hime sama? No, but that's a good guess because Hime, like this, I'm pretty sure this is the Hime, like Hime sama. But um, Hime, with a long one, has this kanji, which has naku, uh, kanashi, has kanashi. Do you know what kanashi means? Yes. Yeah. And then we have naku, na, naru. Nine. Bird singing. Uh, it has um, naku with this guy, which is like the, the sound, like a cry. Naku, like an animal mm. cry, something like that. So a cry of sadness. He may, which is, in other words, is a scream. So, kya is the he may that um, Annie mm -hmm. Agata does. So, Agata has so many meanings, a thousand and one meanings. Um, mm -hmm. When it's being used with he may, it means he let out a scream. So, it's used when you're making a noise that's really loud. Agata, which, you know, has the ue kanji the but yeah to let out would be the closest um example in english of how how is let out making the making noises it's not really embedded in there but i get that yeah that is where we 